This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. In this video, we are going to derive the velocity equations of a slider crank mechanism. In this problem, it is asked to derive the velocity equations of the slider crank mechanism shown here. It is considered that link 2 is the input. Also, the position equations are given here. And, it is asked to derive the velocity equations using the given position equations. In this problem, link 2 is the input. In direct analysis, the kinematic parameters of the input are given. Thus here, the angular velocity of link 2 will be assumed known. In order to get the velocity equations we are going to differentiate the position equations with respect to time. However, we need first to know which parameter is constant and which parameter is changing with time. R2 and R3 are the bar lengths and they are constants as bars work as rigid bodies. R1 is also constant as it measures the perpendicular distance between pin A and the ground. However, we have theta 2, theta 3, which are the angle of bar BC, and R4 are changing with time. Links 2 and 3 are rotating thus their angles theta 2 and theta 3 are variables. Also R4 increases if the slider goes upwards and decreases if the slider goes downwards. Also we are going to assume that the position problem is already solved, so all position parameters are known. Let's start now using the following two position equations. R1, R2, and R3 are constants. R4, theta 2, and theta 3 are changing with time. We need now to differentiate each equation with respect of time. For this we need first to recall that the derivative of cosine and angle alpha depending of time is equal to minus the derivative of alpha with respect of time multiplying sine of alpha. And the derivative of sine and angle alpha depending of time is equal to the derivative of alpha with respect of time multiplying cosine of alpha. Let's consider the first equation. R1 is constant, thus, its time derivative is zero. Then the time derivative of R2 cosine theta 2 is equal to minus R2 times d theta 2 over dt times sine theta 2. And the time derivative of R3 cosine theta 3 is equal to minus R3 times d theta 3 over dt times sine theta 3. Let's move to the second equation. R4 is changing with time, thus its derivative is dr4 over dt. Then the time derivative of R2 sine theta 2 is equal to R2 times d theta 2 over dt times cosine theta 2. And the time derivative of R3 sine theta 3 is equal to R3 times d theta 3 over dt times cosine theta 3. We denote d theta 2 over dt as omega 2, the angular velocity of link 2. We also denote d theta 3 over dt as omega 3, the angular velocity of link 3. Considering these notations. The first equation writes 0 is equal to, minus R2 times omega 2 times sine theta 2, minus, R3 times omega 3 times sine theta 3. And the second equation writes dr4 over dt is equal to, R2 times omega 2 times cosine theta 2, plus, R3 times omega 3 times cosine theta 3. In these equations, theta 2 and omega 2 are given as link 2 is the input. Also theta 3 is known as the position problem should be solved before the velocity problem. Thus the two unknowns are omega 3 and dr4 over dt. Solving these two equations is straightforward. From the first equation, we can have that omega 3 is equal to minus r2 times omega 2 times sine theta 2 over r3 sine theta 3. Then, substituting the expression of omega 3, just obtained, in the second equation, and simplifying gives dr4 over dt is equal to r2 omega 2 times cosine theta 2 plus sine theta 2 over tangent theta 3. 